In this lesson, I'll teach you how you can determine the number of binomial trials you can expect before a success occurs. Before we answer the question, if we repeat a binomial trial in which success has a probability of, let's call it P, then the number of trials we can expect to perform before we get a success is determined by taking one divided by P. So with that said, the question reads, assume that a person is buying boxes of cereal, each of which contains a figure of one of five characters in a current movie. The packages are sealed, so the buyer doesn't know which figure is included with the cereal. How many purchases can this collector expect to make before obtaining an entire set of five figures? So let's pretend that you're starting off with no figures. If you purchase any box, you will get one of the five figures regardless. So the probability of getting any figure in the first purchase is one. If we set P is equal to one and substitute that one into this formula, we get one. Now that you have one of the figures, in your second purchase, there is a four out of five chance that you will get one of the other four remaining figures. So the probability of the second purchase is four out of five and substituting this into one over P, that's like reciprocating this fraction and the reciprocal of this is five over four. And that's equal to 1.25. In your third purchase, remember you've already obtained two of the figures the probability of getting one that you don't have is three out of five. And substituting three out of five into one over P, you get five over three. Five over three is equivalent to one and two thirds, or 1.66 repeating. In the fourth purchase, the probability becomes two over five, and in the fifth purchase, for the same reason as explained earlier, the probability is one in five. Reciprocating that, we get five over two, which is equivalent to 2.5, and reciprocating this last fraction, we get five. From here, we will denote a random letter to represent the number of purchases that this person needs to make in order to get all five figures. Let's call it A. To find out how many purchases, you have to add up all of these values together. So one plus 1.25 plus one and two thirds plus 2.5 and last one being five. Adding these all up, you should end up with 11.42 or roughly that amount. So this person needs to purchase 11 0.42 boxes, or essentially 12 boxes, to ensure that all five characters are collected. And so there you have it. That is how to determine the number of binomial trials we can expect before a success happens.